Hello, and welcome back to Diecast Graveyard. My name is Paul. We've got a pretty wild build for you today. What we have here is a Hot Wheels Strip Teaser. This is a pretty cool car. It's a dragster type car with a huge engine sticking out of the middle of it. And notice how there's no glass in the back, just a place for the driver to sit. This car here was a shell promotional car. It's painted in a red opaque enamel. And we're going to strip it down and we're going to do a few changes here. But I'm thinking Spectre Flame. I definitely want to go through and make this car really special. Now we've also going to do a wheel swap here. Uh, the wheels are just uh, pretty shot. So we're going to do a few things to the wheels and make them uh, work the way they're supposed to. But go ahead and grab your adult beverage, your favorite adult beverage, and let's start today's build of the strip teaser. I've already drilled out the post. Here's the body. The back end opens up and the interior is missing, so we'll have to replace that. We're going to have to drill out the engine, and of course we're going to have to drill out the post. Now there's not a lot of room there. Here's the base. That'll polish up nice. We're going to have to take these wheels out though. Let's see if I'm forgetting something. There we go. Here's the replacement interior that I found on eBay. If you do enough searching, folks, you should be able to find enough parts to restore your car. Now the reason we're calling this a resto mod is because we are replacing the tires and we are going to give it a Spectre Flame paint job. Let's go ahead and drill out this engine. Here I'm using a 964th drill bit. And we're going to drill out this post and get that engine out of there. This will make it a lot easier for you to paint if the engine is not there. So now I'm going to use the center punch and just punch that engine out of there. You can also use that center punch to punch out the post for your car to separate it from the body. And there's today's tip from your Uncle Polly. That procedure works pretty good. Let's move on. Now we're going to dip it in the embalming fluid. Go ahead and get your car coated up inside and out, especially if you're going to do a color change. You want to make sure that there's no remnants of the old color showing through. Once you get it completely coated, I go ahead and I set it out on a tray. That way there, if I'm working on something else and I see that the car is ready to go, then I know it's time to work on it. I love how the moonlight shines over the mausoleum. <laughs> I did buff up the body a little bit, but I happened to lose the footage and I do apologize. It's not like you haven't seen me buff out a car before. But it turned out great, and now we're going to use Spectre Flame Orange to paint the car. I get all the hard to reach places first, up in the fender wells, etc. And then I go ahead and try and get the rest of the body. Make sure you're using light mist coats or tack coats. If you do this and build up the layers slowly, your paint job is going to turn out fantastic. If you try to saturate it and cover it all up in one go, it's going to run on you and you're going to wind up having to do it again anyways. So take your time when you're doing this and you'll have a fantastic paint job. Also use the manufacturer's specifications in order to mix your paint. Let's move on. Now we've got the lower base and we're going to put on some new wheels. Here's the old ones. And the back wheels were cap style wheels, so we can definitely <laughs> save the caps, but the axle is shot. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell to be alerted to future videos that come out. Here I've got these pre-made axles that I got from the Redline shop. Now this is a brand new product that I'm testing out, and I'm hoping that they will be available for your purchase in the very near future. They come with two bearings on the axle and they also come crimped on there. And these ones here I didn't have to adjust at all. So we're going to put them inside the little groove there and we're going to give it a, a couple drops of super glue. 
and hold those axles in place. That's looking really, really good. Now we're going to take a couple drops of the hardener, the accelerator. And that'll solidify that super glue to make sure that those axles are not going to go anywhere. Absolutely sweet. Let's move on. Meanwhile, back in the graveyard. Okay, now we've got all of our parts. I've got the body here where I put on some stickers. These are not decals, but that's what I could find at the time. But they look pretty good. Here's the base. All polished up with flits, brand new wheels, and brand new axles from the Redline shop. Here's the engine, all polished up with flits. Here's a brand new interior that I got off of eBay. Let's put everything together and let's have our reveal. And here's what we started with. A Hot Wheels strip teaser. Now again, with this enamel paint or this opaque paint, this was a promotional car for the Shell Oil Corporation. They used to give them away with uh, Phillips of your car's gas tank back in the day for a dollar and you could have the car or something like that. But we stripped the car down, we polished it up, we painted it, we put new wheels on there, new axles on there, we polished up the engine, and we also put a brand new interior in this wonderful hot rod. And man, I'll tell you, I mean, with the right paint job, the right wheels, and a few other odds and ends, a little elbow grease on your part, you can take these old hot lines and make them look fantastic. And like I always say, folks, you can do this. Watch the videos that we put out, and you can have the same amount of fun that we're having doing this for you. Fantastic. Here's the results. Look at how nice this car turned out. That beautiful Spectre Flame Orange and the brand new wheels from the Redline shop. We polished up the body, the base, and the engine with flits. This is fantastic, folks. And I'd be, I'm very happy to add this to my collection. And these cars are fairly reasonable. You can find them on eBay. You can also find them on Facebook. There's a lot of Hot Wheels groups on there that sell cars like this all the time for a very reasonable price. So get on there and start joining some of these Facebook pages. And if you're patient, you will be able to find the car that you're looking for. I promise you. You just got to be patient. Man, what a lot of fun I had doing a restoration slash modification to this car. This was a lot of fun. Now, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments because I read every single comment. This video was brought to you by the Redline Shop. The Redline Shop offers a complete line of decals, tools to take your car apart, put them back together, replacement hoods, replacement glass, those beautiful Redline tires, and of course, the world famous Spectre Flame paints. Fantastic products. The Redline Shop at www.redlineshop.com where redlines come to life. And don't forget about the great products of Flitz. If you go to their website at www.flitz.com, for those folks watching diecast graveyard videos, the folks at Flitz have got a special offer for you. If you go to their website, any product online, Flitz will offer you 20% off any product off their website. At the end of the transaction, type in the code GRAVEYARD. Now this deal is for anyone who watches Diecast Graveyard's videos, but you have to go to the Flitz website in order to get this special deal. Thank you to the great folks at Flitz. I want to thank you for joining me today on Diecast Graveyard. Like I said, I had a fantastic time. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on my page here. I got a lot more videos coming out, folks. And if there's something you'd like to see or if you have a car that you'd like me to restore for you, put something in the comments. This is Paul with Diecast Graveyard. Have a great day and cheers.